I'm on a quest to find some hidden treasures in the Philippines. So I know a lot of you love my solo travel episode, so here it is. I am in Sharka! First order of the day would have to be surfing. Meet my surf instructor here. His name is Dodong. And I haven't surfed in three years, so I need a refresher course. <laughs> The hottest part is bringing the board back to ride another wave again. Day 2! Say hi James! Meet hi. James. I rented a motorbike with a driver to bring me all around Shargal Island. So now we're here at the rock pools and it's so beautiful. And it's the only place you can visit when it's low tide. So make sure you check out the forecast before visiting. Okay, so now I'm gonna go try and jump off that rock. I'm so scared. But before I jump... I'm just climb all the way up. I'm not sure if I can do this. I'm so scared. Ah. You know what? I'm starting to think that maybe I might have a fear of heights. Gasoline time. Oh, delicious. We're at Pacifico Beach. It's super quiet here, not commercialized yet, although there are a few resorts. But there's this huge like stone structure here. So I'm gonna climb up. Let's go. You will not believe this. Look at this view. <gasps> oh, it's so pretty. And off we went to a birthday party in the village. Look, there was even a vintage karaoke machine. There's even a songbook. Wow, so many songs. And that marks my night in Shargal. I could not be happier. Day three. I'm actually gonna go island hopping. I came here during a peak season, so a lot of the tours are all booked out. But I'm with the hostel and they're going to a different island and that will be fun. It will be lesser people, it will be quieter and we're going to have a barbecue for lunch. Since we're still waiting for um, our boatman to arrive, I'm going to come here and try to shoot some pictures for my Instagram. Um, I want to do like, like I'm standing on water kind of thing, so let's try it. So my camera is over there. I'm just going to click on record. It can get pretty loud on these boats, so make sure you bring some earplugs. We're here. We're at Mom On Island. We're going to go set up the barbecue for food. Let's go. The guy's barbecuing our food, so let's go sing. Hi. Oh, wow. Look, Sarah. Up. Look, they're using coconut husk. Thank you for cooking. You're welcome. <laughs> Unfortunately, I lost some video footage of me going into the forest to cut up some banana leaves for a lunch. So here is the final product. The food was so delicious. And of course, after eating, I had to snorkel. Look at how clear the water is. But soon, it's time for us to go home. But I will definitely be back to this hidden treasure island called Mamon. Good morning! It's my last day here in Shargao. And I'm up pretty early because I'm going to go check out the Shaka smoothie bowl shop for breakfast. Apparently, it's very famous. Hi, doggy. <laughs> Apparently, oh. See, I woke up before my alarm. I'm going to flag myself a taxi. Shaka and I will highly 
recommend for you to visit in the morning so that way you will get a seat for yourself. I ordered the classic Power Bowl Boom Dia. And of course, I had to try this smoothie as well. Also, Shaka does not use any form of plastic, but instead they use these bamboo straws. How cute! Found this cute location, and I'm trying to shoot a pic. Ah! <laughs> I'm trying to shoot a picture with me a little bit submerged in the water. Let's try this. Before I have to leave Shargao, I definitely have to surf once more. I've been meaning to visit this place for two years now, and I'm glad I finally did. Shargao has exceeded my expectations. The people, the vibe, and just the whole island itself. It's not heavily commercialized yet, so you definitely have to pay a visit soon. My time here was a little bit too short, but that also means that I'll have to come back again. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I hope I've inspired you to travel to Shargal yourself and experience this hidden gem. It is so beautiful and I can't wait to go back again. Now I would like to thank Sony for partnering with me to do this video. I've used the action cam to shoot all of my adventures in Shargal. I'm actually using their live action cam to view right now so I know how I look like. I truly enjoyed using the action camera. I feel like the audio is amazing and the stability is crazy good. Have you seen that shot of me in the cab? I, I swear in the cab I was like <laughs> but the video was so stabilized. I really really enjoyed it and it has exceeded my expectations to be honest. Um, for those of you who know, I actually lost my previous action camera on an adventure in Chiang Mai so I'm very happy to be a new owner of this camera and I would definitely be shooting more adventures in the near future so make sure you're subscribed to my channel and also if you have any questions for me about solo traveling do drop them in the comment section below and guess what sony will be having an action cam experience zone for you to try these action cams out yourself at somerset 313 from july to mid august but before you go make sure you give this video a like that would mean a lot to me and also subscribe to my channel follow me on my instagram and i'll see you guys there at 313 somerset in august bye